What's up, weirdos? Imagine lying about being Amish to look cool online. <laughs> That's what Sarah Joy did. She became a famous TikToker by pretending to be Amish, and she was never Amish. It's so funny. I love this story so much, and we're gonna dive all the way in. Like, she seriously got a lot of followers by people genuinely thinking that she was Amish. Also, I know I just hit a million subscribers recently, so I wanted to say thank you, weirdos, so much. Like, it really means a lot to me. I'm gonna make a full, like, video about just the million subscriber special later, because I promised one time that I'd change my middle name to Danger. Anyways, just thank you, but let's get into it. This is an old screenshot because she actually ended up having over 600,000 followers, but she has deleted all of her videos in her entire account. So it's kind of hard to find, you know, a ghost. But basically a plain girl is like, she's, you know, Amish or Mennonite. The Amish clothes, the lack of social media, which makes her TikTok interesting. It's Amish, she's Amish. And she would post videos like this. I work at a plain store. So of course, I'm not gonna tell you whether I'm Amish or Mennonite, and I will laugh at you when you get it wrong. I work in a plane store, so of course I'm gonna entertain your children with songs and stories while you're checking out. Hey, by the way, don't entertain my children with songs and stories while I'm checking out. I know it's not the point of this, but like I have to say, if you are Amish, I still don't want you to entertain my child with songs and stories. Like imagine you're checking out and you just have like a few apples, you put them up there, and an Amish person just goes, There once was a man who's made of wheat, his name was Scarecrow Wheaty Man. I'm gonna snatch that apple, grab my kid, and get the f out of your store. Anyways, not the point. Let's get back to this so you can really get an understanding of the types of videos that she makes. I work at a plane store, so of course if you come in with dyed hair, piercings, or tattoos, I'm gonna stare at you. Not because I'm judging you, but because I want them to. I work at a plane store, so of course I'm gonna give your children candy. Simply because I think that they are cute. Okay, okay, I don't, I stop. Don't give my kid candy while you're singing to him. By the way, I don't even have a kid, but I'm very defensive of young Cooper Jr. Scarecrow had a peppermint stick and he fed it. I'm slapping that candy out of the way and grabbing Cooper Jr.'s hand and getting the fuck out of there. But also she said if somebody comes in with dyed hair, she's gonna be staring at them. Not because she's judging, but because she wants it. And that is a quintessential piece of Sarah Joy lore. It's crucial to your understanding of her that that is the type of thing that she was saying. In addition to this, when I see the pretty girls in big sweatshirts and messy buns stressing over college classes, test professors, and final. I'm so sorry, you should be at the club. This video has four and a half million views. People stand Sarah Joy, people love Sarah Joy, people pitied Sarah Joy. Well, this poor girl, she wants to get out of this toxic community that just holds women down and makes them lesser than they should be. Amish communities are so bad to girls, especially this girl who wants to get out. And again, just, you know, we've all seen the title of this video. She's lying! I work at a plane store, so of course, I just wanna close up, go home and sew. Ain't that right, my fellow Amish? Nothing like closing up at the plane store, going home, and sewing. That's what Amish people do, right? If I know Amish people, and I do, they love sewing, churning butter, and accidental incest. Yeah, statistically, Amish are incest. Yeah, that is also true. That's why they look like that. But I'm not saying that about Sarah Joy. She's probably not a child of accidental incest because she's not Amish. When it sinks in that your life is dictated by old men who don't even know your name. And I singing Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For Right Now. <laughs> Listen, it's a good song, but you're lying. <laughs> like, how are you not embarrassed when you're doing this? At this point, you're probably saying, Cooper, come on, give us proof. How do we know that she's lying? How do we know? Is this just speculation? Is this just because she's on TikTok? No, let me show you. Because she made the mistake of posting this video saying that it was going to be her last. And it led to some people in her life coming out and talking about her because they were a little bit upset about seeing her, you know, get wildly famous over a complete fabrication. We're going to watch the video that she posted first and then the people proving that she was not Amish ever. This video was posted when there was only like mild speculation, like a Reddit snark page type shit. This is not a response to being exposed, this is what led to the exposing. Also, I'm sorry about the little text that pops up here. It's just somebody re-uploaded it, ignore it. I think that they're seeing a lot of things that aren't actually there and are a little bit, you know, true crime brained, if you know what I mean. Hello. This is the last TikTok that I'm going to be making. Damn, girl, are you saying this outside of an airport runway? <laughs> because the Amish community has said that <laughs> Also, yeah, you like the text popping up. Fidgeting. Mm, sounds like she's been crying. Get a grip. Ignore the pop-up text, let's keep going. This is the last TikTok that I'm going to be making while well, I'm still in the community. It has been very nice to get to know all of you, and I appreciate the opportunity that you have given me to talk about the community. I wish you all well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, so she's saying, this is the last TikTok I will be making in this community. I'm still in the community, but it's nice knowing y'all. This is my last TikTok. Now, when somebody gets really famous online and then they post a weird video that has people speculating with like red circles of, oh, glances away. Uh, is there a kidnapper behind the camera? Not every situation is like that, okay? But when somebody posts something like this and they have a level of fame online, people go crazy over it. Cause it feels like a true crime thing and it feels like something to be obsessed over. Like what the hell is going on? And the fervor and panic that happened over this, by the way, 12 point nine thousand comments that's so many people panicked and worried so in response to this video somebody who knew sarah joy by the way this necklace is going to come out it's like mushroom and then pearl and tiger's eye and then mushroom may first weirdo things.com you can get you can get necklaces right now weirdo things.com do it but somebody who knew her in real life made a video exposing her so let's watch that now tiktok clearly doesn't like the truth because i posted a video about sarah joy and her sister anna yes not her friend anna her sister and how Sarah Joy is lying to all of TikTok about being Amish. She's not. I provided video evidence. I submitted a repeal, or sorry, a, an appeal to TikTok, and I hope that they approve. Um, but just in case you guys haven't seen it before, or I was tagged, and I was tagged. Get to the point! Sorry, I'm choosing peace. I just wanted to include this into the video and just, I know I could have started the video here for this, but I want to make a statement, a PSA. There's millennial pauses, and then there is, throughout all generations, the 30 second ramble. Find God. I'm putting my hands up, calling out to God. In Jesus' name, please stop the 30 second ramble. In Jesus' name. God, I'm thinking about praying to this. Okay. Tagged in a lot of other people's videos about her. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna show you the, the photos again. <laughs> Our Amish princess with makeup. Now, I know, I know, that doesn't seem like a gotcha yet. Although Amish people are not allowed to wear makeup because they're Amish. Don't ask too many questions. Same thing with Mormons. Although Mormons can comment on videos. By the way, I love you Mormons. I just think that your whole thing is weird. But with Amish people, they can't even comment. The fuck am I even talking about? Um, anyways, this does not look like good evidence, but let's keep watching. Anna, Sarah. The two people I'm covering are my friends, but there is Anna and Sarah them when they were little kids. Okay, I don't, we don't need to look at them when they were little kids. That doesn't prove anything. By the way, her story, Sarah Joy's, is that she converted to being an Amish person in 2018. So that's why she's going all the way back. So I don't think that the child photo really means anything other than that she personally knows this family. Okay, okay, so it's establishing credibility. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, all of these pictures are just very clearly a not Amish woman. Keep going, because there's more. I'm covering a child's face, but there they are. Them with family, those are their parents. Sarah and Anna. Sarah at Krispy Kreme. Sarah, Anna. Hopefully my video will be back up and running here soon. So this is us in 2015. I think this might have been like the first time I met them. I'm not really sure. Now she kept bringing up this other girl in that video, Anna. Who is Anna? Who, who is Anna? Well, she was explaining that it's her sister. Sarah had been saying that Anna was uh, her friend this whole time. It doesn't really matter that she lied about her being friend or sister. That doesn't matter. Not really important at all, but we do know that they are sisters. Sisters. That has been proven, which makes this extra layer very interesting because Anna, Sarah Joy's sister, has also been exposing Sarah Joy. Oh, oh. oh shit, really? Is Are you serious? Are you joking? Si, sí, soy serio. Which in Spanish means, I'm serious. Anna posted this. I never wanted to be in the middle of all of this. I just wanted people to know if she was safe. Now I'm looking at losing one of my best friends. Now, in my opinion, if you're Anna's best friend and you're gonna stop being her best friend because Anna's sister is lying about being Amish, you're a bad friend. But it did lead to this extra layer where somebody commented, don't get involved again. The adults know that she's making it all up. And truthfully, it was okay because it was harmless until people were scared for her. Now people know she's safe. It's not that serious. And she liked the comment. That person made another comment. It's not worth your mental health to keep up with her charade. Not fair to you. And then she liked that comment too. So it's like, I don't want to say that's exposing her sister, but it is confirming. And it does bring up a good point. Honestly, she was just cosplaying as being Amish. Does it really matter? Is this like drama? Are we upset with her for this? People lie. I don't think that it makes her a bad person by any means. I think that, you know, she gets hired to work at this plane store and has to dress in modest clothing anyways, which is true. That part is true. That's why she was at the store. She just got hired to work there. And you know, she's wearing this clothing and then thinks, oh my gosh, this is kind of like cosplay. I could make a TikTok about this. And then it blows up and then she makes more and more and now it's all exploding and she's like trying to grapple with this. It's like I always say, it's TikTok brain and positive reinforcement for one action can lead you down a path where you keep chasing that high and sometimes it works, but in a case like hers, for it to work, she has to keep lying and keep lying and keep lying and keep lying. Why the fuck you lying? And in the process of saying all these lies, she ends up adopting this persona of this community that she's cosplaying as, making actual statements about how being a woman inside of this community is so bad and so harmful. But once she's done that, 
not. Once she has genuinely lied, like it's not a joke, it's not satire. It is just a lie about being Amish. And then putting the victimhood of the women who are in that community onto yourself to get sympathy and clout and fame off of other people's victimhood, that's where it comes in where it's like, okay, on the one hand it was harmless, but then it goes there and it's actually kind of shitty. But from this girl's perspective and her experience, she's just filming these videos on her phone. And it's like a video game as all these likes are at. She's just thinking, what can I post next? What can I post next? What could be good for this? What could be good for this? And that is TikTok brain. That is my updated version of TikTok brain definition. By the way, that also reminds me of the thought that I had. When it sinks in that your life is dictated by old men who don't even know your name, isn't that true for every woman in America? Am I right, ladies? Uh, sorry, I hate Mitch McConnell. Sorry, any chance I can get to talk about Mitch McConnell. Anyways, if at this point you're still thinking to yourself a little bit like, uh, maybe there's a chance that she was actually Amish for a little bit and she just didn't tell these people. May I direct you to the discovery of her secret second TikTok. Her second TikTok's username was Antagonize the Patriarchy. And you can see she's following Kenzie Wren. Kenzie is the girl whose video we showed earlier that exposed her the first time, confirming that they know each other. But also if you just look at some of the videos that she made, I think it's very clear to see that she was not Amish. As you can see on the bottom left, it was posted actually on Halloween night in 2022, which is four years deep into her being Amish, which is just, you know, she wasn't Amish. Also, hashtag giant woman, heart sparkle, hashtag for you page. <laughs> I bet your family was so terrified coming to America. Sorry, Scandinavians. That's what your language literally sounds like. I'm sorry. Irvin Dolvin? No, I'm just kidding. That's the Swedish chef. But that is what she fucking typed out. Hashtag the Holocaust. POV. You are a child on my lap while I snap leaves. What does that sentence mean? Well, let's watch. Irvin Dolvin? Why am I in your lap? <laughs> Why am I as a child in your lap? Let me go. <laughs> Okay, by the way, the hashtags, hashtag Imagrant, hashtag as she should, hard heart, sparkle, hashtag Norwegian, hashtag Viking. By the way, if you have a little bit of pride over your uh, Viking slash Norwegian background, I mean, it's fine, have it, but I just wanna let you know for people who are Norwegian or Viking and just don't like have a pride over that, it looks a little bit weird. Cause you know, the one thing that we know about Vikings are that they pillaged and then they, I can't say the word, but cause you know. You know. So uh, yeah, anyways, Irvin Dolvin? This isn't Amish. This is 2022. This is deep in her Amish years and she's not Amish. But I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you. By the way, is that the right word? I would be remiss? What the fuck does that mean? Why does everybody say that? Remiss, definition. Negligent in the performance or work or duty, careless, showing neglect or attention. Oh, okay, yeah. I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about the last video that she posted. Hey, that felt good. She deleted almost all of her other videos and then posted this. And then shortly after deleted her entire account, so. Si, soy serio. Friends and others. It was brought to my attention that someone is on here that I knew their sibling. I did not even really know them. Who's spreading nasty, hateful rumors about me. I was told to choose the plain community, the community that I am in, or the world. Okay, so she's talking about Kenzie, that girl who posted the video exposing that she's known this girl for a long ass time and how she's not Amish. And then we also see like they for sure knew each other because her second account followed her. She's saying this person, I barely even knew her. So again, lying, this is where the gaslighting is. But at this point, it's kind of sad because friends birthday parties they were there i met them they were nice a little bit weird because they were homeschooled yeah they were homeschooled by the way if you're homeschooled feeling judged right now <sighs> So was I. But to be fair, I also went to a homeschool co-op. So two days a week, I would go there. I got a lot of socialization. I got a lot of friends. And I went to my homeschool bowling league and I went to youth group at church on Wednesday nights. So I wasn't an anti-social homeschool kid. And if you're wondering why Sarah Joy is like that, that's why. So yeah, that little extra piece of lore as we continue to watch this video of her, just let that marinate where she was homeschooled. Be all in or all out. And it was my choice to make. And so I chose the playing community, 
Yes, I did. The girl that made those awful rumors about me, saying that I'm a scammer and a fraud, I kid you not, the last time I saw her, there was somebody opening a window over there. I was not looking to the side because there was a person there holding me hostage, you goofballs. Tell them, Sarah Joy. She's referring to the people who would, you know, make the videos where they would circle in red and say, glancing to the side, they're a kidnapper over there. But, you know, like the video that we watched. So, yeah, good point. She's not kidnapped, but you are also currently lying about what you are and everything about you, which is fine. I was looking to the side because someone was pulling past me in a truck, all right? Not, you just stop listening to so much true crime. I'm not hostage. Anyway, this girl who I will not say her name because she is not worth my time and attention. Ooh, get him! Y'all been watching too much crime. First of all, got him. I don't want to say her name because I don't want to give her attention. Boom, got him. I am not an Amish. I chose to be Amish. <laughs> it didn't get him because you're not Amish and you're lying. But what else would you do? Like, if you got exposed like her, I guess, I mean, I would delete all my videos. I wouldn't come out here and make this video. But yeah, and also, by the way, I know you're still thinking about how I said I was homeschooled. There's different ways you can be homeschooled. The way that you're thinking about it, trust me, that wasn't me. I don't give a fuck if I wore a fedora in the fifth grade. That wasn't me. Because by the way, you know who else was in my homeschool group? Mr. Beast. Anyways, I'm going to skip to the end of her video because it's a little bit pointless when you already know that she 100% is lying. But the ending is pretty good. Si, soy serio. And to be clear, I did not follow Heather Shaw on Wednesday morning. That's not accurate. I'm not sure where that went wrong, but I was not on TikTok. I had deleted the app off of my phone to stay within the guidelines of the community so maybe I would have my place back in it. So I could be up front and forward with the bishop when he comes on Sunday that I am off of it. But I have come back on here to set the record straight because some people will not leave well enough alone. And I may be losing my place in the community now because of it. Anyway, just a reminder, the people you see online are real people and your actions surrounding them have real consequences. Also, thanks to everybody who thought that I was kidnapped and tried to help me. I really appreciate that. I'm not kidnapped. I'm just at my house. It's really tough to see that knowing that she's 100% lying. It's really embarrassing. I gotta talk to the bishop tomorrow because the bishop's gonna kick me out of the community if he finds out I'm still posting on the TikTok. Uh... Babe, can, can I call you babe? I don't want to. Okay, can I just say real quick, we know that you don't have a bishop. It's very clear that you just got exposed and are trying to somehow make everybody feel guilty. Um, you prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm lying? Well, it just so happens that I'm not lying, but I'll never post again. But it's not because I'm lying. It's because the, the bishop, the bishop. This bishop over here who you have no idea who he is and can never verify his existence. He said, if I don't stop posting on the TikTok, he's gonna kick me out of the men and I land. So yeah, we all know that she's just doing it because she got found out and doesn't, you know, have the ability to continue posting on there anymore. But instead of fessing up to it, she's still gonna continue to lie and gaslight and say, uh, no, actually no. You know who that reminds me of? Donald Trump, am I right? Hey, it's the election year. Hey, who's ready for some fun Donald Trump jokes? Bet you haven't heard of him before. Uh, somebody who's lying? Isn't that Donald Trump? Save us President Trump. <laughs> you see that video? Okay, look at this. President Trump. If you see this, please save us. <laughs> I don't even see our American flag anymore. Biden's talking with some kind of crazy flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Biden doesn't even have an American flag. It's so kind of crazy flag. <laughs> Anyways, fart jokes aside, uh, yeah, that girl ain't Amish, and now we all know it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe. I have a million! President Trump, please save us. President Trump, please. I don't even see American flags anymore, President Trump. Biden just has flags of rainbows, like, like gay rainbows. President Trump! So expect a lot more jokes like that from me in 2024, because it's an election season, and Donald Trump is a bad guy.